Hey guys, I just wanted to hop on here pretty quick and just reveal two new pieces from Chanel um, and talk a little bit about them. I've got some notes here because um, I tend to lose focus when I'm rambling on about Chanel bags and I get overexcited. So I have got, um, it's a big thing to say a holy grail um, bag but because I've said that before about the jumbo but I think the jumbo, I always loved both um, of the Chanel classics. And the jumbo was just the more practical option, whereas emotionally, my belly flip would be more for this one that I've now got. Um, because it is pretty and it's delicate and it's lighter, which is a big bonus. But I just didn't know if I could ever justify having both. And it was on my long range wish list. And I remember talking to Ed recently saying, or well, maybe next year. And he was saying, well, how much is it now? And I was saying, well, they keep going up. So he said, Look, you know, okay you can get it now and then we don't that's just done because there aren't any other really super expensive or ridiculously expensive bags that are on my radar i don't think i'm ever going to get a bag from hermes i mean if i did i'd probably be it'd be like an evelyn like a crossbody or something so yeah i'm just going to show you and then talk about why i felt i wanted to get this one so I now have a medium classic flat bag from Chanel. I chose the caviar leather and the gold hardware. Um, I didn't choose the caviar leather for the kind of obvious reasons about wear and tear. That's part of it. But when I actually looked at, um, I went to London and I looked at the lambskin one and the caviar one side by side. They just didn't have the right options of hardware and leather for me. So I didn't buy one that day. But I realised that I actually, in the actual classic flaps, I prefer the look of the caviar. I honestly do. And it's not a compromise for me where I'm going for something that's not as beautiful, but it's hardier. I actually prefer the look. For me, I know it's a, just a silly thing, but with the lambskin for me, um, it looks very puffy. And especially this front flap, because there's only that internal folded thing. Um, and there isn't this stitch here or here. When I had a jumbo with gold hardware, this front flap was really thick and puffy and I just didn't like that look for me. And I hadn't thought about that when I ordered it because um, I did a mail order through a friend. Um, so I'm really happy that I, this is the version that is like my holy grail for this size. So I'm really happy with my decision. Um, the, the things I wanted, like why isn't, a lot of friends that aren't handbag junkies, when I've shown them this, they're like, but it's the same bag. And for me, they're very, very different. Um, I had the jumbo, I knew I wanted a smaller flap style bag. And I thought about the seasonal ones that I'd seen that I liked that were a little bit less expensive. Um, I thought about a boy, I thought about a reissue. I really thought about all of the options. I really like the reissue and I think that maybe in the long, long, long future I might end up with one of them because I just, I really like them. But there are some things where I just prefer this over the reissue. I'm not sure about the all chain strap and I just, although I know it's not the original thing that she invented, I really love this style CC lock and that's the bit that gets my pulse racing. So I just thought go for the one that you really, really want. Um, I love the jumbo and I've written some notes here. For me, for any flap bag like this with this kind of adjustable strap, there are going to be four ways to wear it or the four ways that I would like to be able to wear it. Double strap like this on the shoulder, I wear my jumbo that way and that's how I mostly wear my jumbo. And also I wear the jumbo crossbody by putting the strap like this and wearing it crossbody. Um, but the two things that I can't really do with the jumbo that I really like carrying a smart bag is long on the shoulder, so like this. When I wear the jumbo that way, it sits way too long and it knocks around on the side of my leg. And the other way that I really like to carry this kind of bag is actually just in the hand, like this, down by my side, or like this. And I felt that the jumbo didn't work for me in both of those kind of carry options. So now that I have this one, I can carry my bag, my classic flat bags, all of those four ways. And that was one of the main reasons that I wanted to be able to wear crossbody, long on the shoulder, short on the shoulder, which it does fit, but I like the, the, where the jumbo lands more. 
and then like this so between the two bags i feel like i've got all the ways that i would like to carry this style bag um i also wanted this size because it's elegant and it's really great for formal occasions where the wok or my o case just won't quite suit where i want a full handbag look but more compact it's really light and comfortable um, I've worn it once on the, <clears throat> I went out for a date night with my husband and I wore this bag long on the shoulder, <coughs> excuse me, but the jacket that I was wearing, I've got very slopey shoulders, I haven't got much structure where, you know, they slope just down, so bags just roll, so I did have to like walk with my thumb here to keep it on my shoulder, which is a shame, but I think with different tops and things, sometimes it won't slip down. Anyway, I'm completely in love with it. I've had it out on the side. I can't bear to put it away because I just want to look at it. It's just in my room. Um, every time at the moment that I go out without the kids, I want to carry this. It's just so beautiful. And actually, I really like the gold hardware. I kind of turned my back on gold hardware with Chanel because it is a deeper, richer colour. And I didn't like it on my lambskin bag. Um, that was a jumbo, so obviously this chain was a lot thicker and more bold. This was bigger. And with the lambskin, I felt like it was overkill just for me. The, the lambskin and the jump and the gold and the size of the bag, I felt it looked quite ostentatious on someone like me who dresses the way that I dress. Whereas in the smaller one, I feel like I love it. So I'm really glad that I went with this option. Um, I would have preferred to buy it in the boutique in person, but at the moment with availability issues, you if you turn up there after like within after the first hour that they open at the moment they've sold all the mediums um when i went to london i went all over the place didn't get much help no one would phone another location for me because they said they were too busy i went to sloan street it was really quiet and calm in there i really like that store i find all the boutiques in london have all got very distinct personalities my favourite two being Sloane Street and Brompton, but they're very different. Like I, it was the first time that I'd been into the new Brompton Cross store and it's just so more edgy and like the shape of the store is kind of like a triangle and stuff. But anyway, I they're very helpful in both those locations and they suggested that instead of like this bun fight of me trying to get there at the crack of dawn and beat off everybody else, that I just do mail order because they are coming in, but in drips. So... The day after I went to London, they opened a box and they had just one. They didn't have another one in lambskin or anything. They just had this one that day and that was at Sloane Street. And they rang me and said, your bag is here. So although they won't hold a bag for you, for you to physically get there, they will kind of hold a bag for you to do mail order. So for example, she phoned me, this lady at like half past 10 in the morning or quarter to 11 when they'd unpacked and said, we have your bag. I will send you an email today make the transfer today and then tomorrow the bag will go out and it was just so straightforward the only thing and i have deleted it from my instagram because people were getting a bit alarmed there was um this thing where it said in my email please note that you are mail ordering these items at your own risk and that we're not liable for any loss or damage and i thought about it and i thought what when you order something online it's their responsibility to get it to you so I phoned up and she just clarified that it's just to do with fraudsters and them covering themselves and as part of their contract with their courier people that they have to um, put that disclaimer in there because people will claim that they haven't received it when they have signed for it and stuff like that. But it was very straightforward and they were very helpful. So this piece um, is a made in France piece. I think now it's pretty much on the whole that the medium is made in France and the jumbo is made in Italy. So just to show you some details, it says Chanel, Paris there. You've got your little zipper pocket, which is close to useless. You can't, I thought I could store my authenticity card up here, but it's not even deep enough for that. A little slip down the back there and then into the second flap, beautiful burgundy interior. It says Chanel Paris. And you've got your quilted CCs, whereas the one in the jumbo is flat. Main compartment with the two slip pockets and the sort of lipstick pocket. The main interior compartment all lined in the burgundy leather. And then your other slip pocket there where I'll keep my phone. Just to say, this bag, the reason I wanted to choose it in store is because when I got my jumbo, 
they brought out three um, in total and I chose my favourite one. They were all very different. Um, and so this was a bit of a gamble because I didn't know kind of, I knew what the bag was going to look like, but often if you see, especially with caviar, more so than lamb, the amount of puffiness can vary, how these actual caviar grains look can vary. With my jumbo that I bought in the summer, I bought the one that had the blue stickers everywhere and it had obviously never been, sorry there's someone vacuuming, there had never been anywhere, no one had handled it or looked at it in the boutique. This one was the same because it came straight from Paris and then they sent it to me and it didn't ever go, it wasn't ever for sale in the shop. It was perfect. It's really soft, which I'm really pleased with. It's still completely structured, but it's just a bit squidgy. And also I've noticed that the chains don't have the, the crazy squeak, which is really weird because my previous... Um, caviar bags I've had super squeaky chains at, at first but so I'm really happy with it it's got the right amount of puff the black looks really black when I looked at this bag in lambskin in this because the guy that helped me at Sloan Street said go to Brompton they're holding two for you caviar with silver or lamb with gold which neither of them were this but I thought I'll go and have a look and just see and the caviar one was really shiny and plasticky it didn't look like this it wasn't as nice as this one and the lambskin one looked like it had been dragged through a hedge backwards and my friend was just like don't do it like she was worried i think that i was gonna go for the instant gratification and just buy it there and then but i'm so glad i waited because it was only the next day that they phoned me about this so i'm really excited to have another look there if you want me to do a how I pack my medium, a comparison, a review in the future, let me know. But bear in mind, there are people who do much better videos than me who have done, there's like a thousand brilliant videos about this bag. But if you would like me, my take on it and to hold up my two together and show you how I pack them differently and all of that, I'd be happy to do that. A couple of videos that were really helpful to me in terms of comparison were Snape HBP's comparison between the two. Andre has done a brilliant video comparing the two and we have the exact same two and like her thinking and my thinking are so close, it's uncanny. Like she got this one first, whereas I got the jumbo first and she said she still had an absolute yearning for the jumbo. I got the jumbo and I think I mistook really still wanting this. It made me think, oh no, maybe the jumbo is not right for me. The jumbo is right for me but I still sometimes thought this would, they're just good for different situations basically. And I just, I really hoped and prayed that one day I could add this to my collection. And I know it's, it's extravagant to have two classic flaps, but, and I did um and ah and think, well, maybe I should look at different styles for variety, but if something's just right for you, it's just right, just go with it. And I'm just so happy. I've never been as excited about a bag. Literally, I could barely sleep when I was waiting for it to arrive. And then the day that I opened it, I tried to do an unboxing for you guys and I could not calm down enough. I was in the chair, I was all like this and I kept losing my train of thought. I was, I kept staring at it in the monitor going, oh my God, that's mine. Like I, I still feel like that now, two weeks later, I can't believe it. So there's my medium classic flap. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever owned and I'm just a lucky, lucky girl. And now that I have two classics, it means that my girls get one each when you know, they want to start borrowing them for special occasions. And then when I, you know, I'm not around anymore, then hopefully I'll still have kept these in nice condition and they can kind of have one each. So there you are. Um, the price is ridiculous. But it's going to get more ridiculous. I think there's been a price rise this week. I checked this morning and this is still the price that I paid for it. Um, and I, I know some people find it, I don't like it when people in my friends and family that don't really aren't into luxury things sometimes watch my videos and I'm a bit like uncomfortable to let them know how much these things cost but for your benefit this was three thousand nine hundred and ninety pounds and I think I don't know if this recent price rise includes this and they just haven't updated the website but I would imagine if I'd left it till next summer when I was originally planning to buy it it would probably be like five thousand and then I'm out of the game. Like I've always said, and I 100% promise to swear, I swear I'll stick by this. Unless it's a surprise, which knowing my husband, he's not gonna go out and buy me a Birkin as a surprise. He just wouldn't do it even if he won the lottery. Because he just thinks all of this is ridiculous. But I would never 
spend more than four thousand pounds on a bag or a piece of luggage or, or just not i wouldn't say anything because i think there are certain items of jewelry there where we would go over that but so i'm i got this I just got this in the nick of time before it became like unreachable for me. So I'm really lucky. So while they were helping me there, <clears throat> I asked about something on the off chance. I was on such a high because she said, I'm, I've got your bag that um, I asked about this because this is something I've been looking for for over a year. And every time I've gone anywhere, even in the Rue Cambon, they had it in like bright pink, bright red, bright yellow, sometimes electric blue. And I just, I know me, apart from red and the odd, maybe navy or pink, I usually regret strong colours. So with Chanel, it's just the most expensive stuff that I kind of purchase. And I just think stick with black leather because it's just going to look better for longer. But anyway, I digress. This was the SLG that I still, I have like a suite of Chanel SLGs. I have a flat card case in red chevron. I wanted a chevron piece, but I didn't want a whole bag, so that ticked that off. I've got my zippy, um, like little mini coin purse in blue lambskin, which I love. I've got the card case with the popper, um, with just two little slots. But I really, really wanted this like miniature O case pouch thing. I thought from talking to her, um, she looked and she said, I've got it in lambskin in the classic. Uh, oh yeah, I've got another box that says caviar on it. So I said, send it. Obviously, she thought it was the classic, and so did I, but it was a happy accident because I freaking love this thing. So this is a seasonal version, and I've forgotten, but because I'm just talking about the classic flap, and everybody knows that one. But I will hunt out the receipt and put the code for this, because I know a few people on Instagram said they wanted to see if they could get one. So this is similar to the classic caviar one, but there are some changes. So the first change is there's no burgundy on here. It's all black. The classic version of this, the timeless one, this fabric I think is even burgundy and the pull tab might be burgundy. You have the deeper yellow gold and you have like a nylon quilted interior in burgundy like that is inside my bigger O case. This one is all black caviar but if you look closely it's a mini caviar grain which I'm so obsessed with which if you look at it next to this you can see that the actual individual pebbling is way smaller, which I love. Um, this is black, this fabric's black, and you have the addition of this little CC on the end, which is such a sweet touch, which you don't get on the classic one. And the inside is just like a ridged fabric in black, and this was made in Italy. I absolutely love this thing. Really excited to get this. So. Um, I'm now obsessed with the mini, the rectangular mini, and I feel like an absolute prat because I always swore I'd never get one of those. And it, I'm not getting one of those. If I do, it'd be in like a year's time. But because I absolutely love this mini caviar, they're doing the flap in this soft, oh yeah, and the other difference is this is a soft paler gold than the regular gold, look. Um, MS Pandas 10 and Minx for All just picked up the rectangular mini in this mini, very soft, grained caviar with the soft gold and I think that is an excellent piece I have I would love to get that but I'd have to sell something so I'm not going to do that I haven't got anything left that I bet really want to part with um, but maybe in the future but beautiful so I'm really happy to have that so those are my two new Chanel pieces and in terms of it sounds like it's not the basics because not a no Chanel is a basic but I have all the Chanel pieces that I kind of had on my long range wish list, I've, I'm there. I have my wok, I have my GST, I have my Deville, I have my two flat bags, I'm, I've got more than enough. In the future, the things that are on my radar are more pairs of footwear maybe in the future, but not right now. Um, maybe navy blue in the next year or two. Uh, classic like ballet pumps would be very useful for the way I dress, I wear a lot of blue jeans. Um, I would maybe look at a mini. I think that they fall a little bit short on me, so that would only be viable if I continued to lose a bit more weight um, because they fall a tiny bit shorter than the wok and the wok is only just long enough on me as a crossbody. Um, there's nothing else really. I still will probably buy the odd SLG or piece of costume jewellery, but other than the possibility of maybe a, a mini in a year or two. I don't have any plans to get a boy bag. 
um, and I would possibly like an SLG or a wok again with the boy styling because I do miss my boy wok terribly and that was a bit of a mistake but that's it really I am complete and happy and um, absolutely in love so I picked up the medium flat bag and the O kind of pouch and they look great together I haven't really fiddled around with what fits in these and stuff that much yet but I will do and I will do more videos on them um, if you just request what you would like in the comments below and I will I'll do that for you but it I can't review it yet because I need to have a bag for some months before I review it but I could definitely do a what fits or how I pack it and different options for that or a comparison with the jumbo you let me know take care guys